Would you welcome, please, Jenny Allen? This happened to me two years ago. I, uh, I sit down at my 13-year-old daughter's computer because uh, mine is in the shop. And uh, here on her computer screen is um, her email inbox. Uh, now, I, I hardly ever see her email inbox, except um, just sometimes very fleetingly when I am uh, passing through this little nook where we keep her computer. Uh, and the reason the computer is in this nook is that uh, her school has told us that um, uh, children shouldn't have their computers in their bedrooms, but in a, in a more public and well-trafficked zone. <laughs> and uh, the point of this is that this way the children will not be seduced into going on dirty websites or uh, just spending the whole night eye-chatting with their friends. So, so far I am finding that this is, uh, works a lot better than theory than in, uh, than in real life. Uh, in real life, if I uh, come anywhere near her computer, she like throws her whole upper body over it. <laughs> and she says, you're invading my privacy, uh, which I am, right? <laughs> so, uh, but um, anyway, uh, I have kind of, uh, sort of mixed feelings about this whole privacy of the children in the computer thing. Uh, uh, so I kind of don't know what to do about this. And, and anyway, she and I just both know that if she doesn't want me to see what's on her computer, all she has to do is like press one stroke on her keypad and whatever she's been doing is instantly disappeared and replaced by the first line of her paper on The Lottery by Shirley Jackson. <laughs> uh, anyway, but apparently she, she just forgot to log out last night. So, uh, so I sit there and I, I scroll down through her email inbox because I, 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 I just can't help it. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but I don't read the emails, right? Even though, like, two days earlier this... Uh, this guy in the Today Show, a, a parenting expert, has, has told the parents of America that they, they can read their children's emails, and they should, and, uh, and not in secret. And he said that um, children shouldn't be doing anything on the computer that their parents shouldn't be able to see while standing over their shoulder. And I thought, you know, I wonder if this guy has, has ever met a teenager, you know? I, <laughs> I wonder if he has noticed ha ha how much they don't enjoy um, having their parents standing over their shoulder and breathing down their necks. Don't, don't get that. But um, anyway, uh, so I have, I'm thinking I have these very, again, very mixed feelings about the whole computer privacy of children kind of thing. but. Uh, but really, who cares if I have mixed feelings about it, right? Who cares if I have any feelings about it at all? Like, by the time I really realized that how insidious the internet was, like, my daughter already had, um, you know, like, all these secret passwords and uh, 17 Gmail accounts and uh, I am and Facebook and iChat and, like, all these friends and friends of friends and friends of friends of friends. And I felt like I had hundreds and hundreds of teenagers in my house. And uh, none of them were ever, ever going to leave. <laughs> but anyway, so apparently she, she uh, 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 forgot to log out. And so I, I decide I'm just going to like uh, scroll down through those, through those email things. And I'm, and I'm reading the first line of all the emails because it's just right there in the subject line, right? And I, uh, I, I kind of just can't help myself. And, um, and all the emails are kind of seem to be from her friends, and they're all very innocuous, uh, uh, even though they're kind of kind of schizophrenic when you take them as a as a whole. Like some of the children write very childishly, like "I am so excited for Duncan D's," 
And then um, some of them write, just like gang members, like, yo, bitch, that so sucks, you have your math tutor now. <laughs> but, um, so here, uh, the here, just um, on, uh, on one of the, uh, I scroll down, and on, on one line is kind of a weird, weird email. There's nothing in the subject line, and, um, and in the email sender's email box, there's no letters or words or anything. I don't recognize, it's not, not doesn't seem to be one of her friends. It's just a lot, a lot of numbers. And I think like, this, looking, this looks kind of um, like a junk email or something. And uh, then I think, but you know, maybe it's something like mercenary, something that's gonna possibly cost me money. Like maybe she's ordered something from some online catalog and, and uh, they're gonna charge me on my cable bill for something every month that I, I didn't order unless I tell them not to. You know? Well, I think, you know, I, 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 I could open this email. I, I, this one I could open because, you know, it's, 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 it's impersonal and, uh, and it's, it's sort of like opening a, uh, a bill, really, or, uh, <laughs> or and it, it, like something addressed to occupant. Right? <laughs> so I am um, just going to open this one. So I open the email, uh, and it is a uh, photograph, and um, it's been taken at a very like weird angle, and uh, it's uh, kind of blurry, uh, but not so blurry that you can't see that it's been taken in a bathroom. There are these uh, tiles on the floor, and um, like a used towel down there, and uh, and then these two like big cupped bras hanging from a hook on the back of a closed door. And, uh, and not so blurry that you can't see the star of the picture right here in the foreground. Uh, and it is a big erect penis. <laughs> and I think, who sent her this email, right? It's not like from an official porn site, because the picture is just too bad, right? <laughs> and uh, it is too intimate. You know, that penis is just right there in your face. <laughs> and um, I think, maybe it's somebody she knows. Oh my God, I think, are we about to be a statistic? Is somebody from Newsweek going to be calling my house, like looking for a quote on babies having babies? My baby, my baby who, she still gets the kids' fair on Amtrak, and she loves strawberry milk and, and horses and, uh, and making brownies. I think, what is going on here? Maybe it's from a stranger, like just some uh, dirty person who got her email address and is like sending these pictures of his penis to her. Oh, that is so creepy. <laughs> so I, um, I decide to print out the picture of the penis. <laughs> no, I, 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 I don't know why, really. I, 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 <laughs> I think maybe it's um, like evidence or something. So, so uh, I do print, print it out and. Um, and just then, my, uh, my older daughter, Hallie, uh, uh, she stops by for a little visit with her friend, Desiree. Now they are, um, these girls are both all grown up. They're 23 and they live in Brooklyn and they are very cool and they're very great and I love them and I think, oh, thank God, you know, they are gonna calm me down somehow about this penis picture. <laughs> and uh, so I, I say to them, Look. <laughs> Look at this. And these two, um, these two New York City girls, you know, these two girls who have seen everything. They look at the picture and they say, what the hell? <laughs> they, have, they have no idea what to think either. And then Desiree says, oh, she's remembered something. It's a fad. It's like a teenage thing. The boys are taking pictures of their penises on their iPhones, and they are sending them 
to the girls on email. And uh, now this was before there was even, this was when it was just brand new, there was no word, such word as like sexting yet or anything, there was no name for it. Uh, and Desiree says that those numbers on the sender's email thing, those are his iPhone phone number. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Hallie says, oh, you know, Mom, it's just, it's probably some boy she knows just trying to be funny. And I think, but I want to hear the boy's voice, you know? I want to hear the voice of the boy who is trying to be funny. Oh, no. Whatever he is trying to be. I want him to know that I know, right? So I dial the iPhone phone number. Hello. It's a teenage boy, I can hear it and he sounds very wary. I figure he doesn't recognize my phone number on his iPhone phone pad. I say, hi, who's this? And he says, M, and he gives his name. And I have this just quick parental urge to say to him, hey, you know, you don't have to give your name to a stranger. <laughs> you don't have to tell me anything. But I don't. I say, hello, M. This is R's mother. And he says, who? And I say, R, are you a friend of hers? And he says, I guess, kinda. And I say, where do you go to school? And he tells me, just like that. <laughs> and uh, it is not my daughter's school, so I'm pretty sure she doesn't know this boy that well. I have never, also never heard her mention his name and he has never come over and he, she brings her friends over all the time. And I think, you know, on the other hand, if I, if I do decide that I need to exact retribution at some point, I, I figure that it's gonna take me about three minutes to find this boy and his parents just from the information he's already given me. So I say, you know, um, um, I just called because I saw your iPhone phone number on my cell phone, and I just couldn't figure out who had called me. And there is a long pause, and he says, oh. And I think, he's putting it together, right? He knows. And I say, well, nice talking to you, bye. And he says, bye. I think he could have just hung up on me, right? But, but he's polite, you know, he's talking to a grown-up. <laughs> so I, 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 uh, I figure uh, that this is, I am thinking, this is a boy who my daughter kind of knows who is just indulging in this really disgusting fad, right? Um, and it's so disgusting. But it's so disgusting that it suddenly um, does seem like kind of funny to me. <laughs> and I, I, I stand there with Desiree and, and Hallie and we, and we start making jokes about M and his member and we just laugh ourselves silly. <laughs> and we can't stop, right? We're just cracking ourselves up. And uh, then I hear the front door opening and it, it's my 13-year-old home from school. And now I'm still upset about the penis picture, but, 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 but now I'm feeling guilty and panicked and I'm about to be busted. You know, I've been on her email and, uh, and I printed it out and uh, she is just going to kill me. I think, how am I gonna handle this, you know? And I, then I think, okay, don't be, uh, don't be dark, don't be heavy, don't make it like scary, just be light, be light, right? <laughs> And what's my choice anyway? We're all just standing there with these big grins frozen on our faces. And she comes into the room and she says, what, what? Because you know, she wants to be in on the joke. <laughs> and I say, honey, did you open this email um, uh, in your email box? And I, I hold out the picture of the penis. <laughs> and, uh, and she says, yes, ew, it's disgusting. And I say, do you know the boy who sent you this picture? 
And she said, well, barely. I met him like twice. And I said, well, what's his point, really? I mean, <laughs> is he trying to be funny? Uh, uh, does he want to be your boyfriend? And she said, well, I don't know. Ew, he's disgusting. Why are you reading my email? <laughs> but she's smiling, though, so I know she's forgiven me. Right? So for the next week or so, um, M and his penis become this kind of like joke in our family. <laughs> and uh, we, we just be a little funny anecdote, and we tell it, and we giggle about it, and we think about all the things we could say to M if we see him about his, about his member. And... <laughs> You know, this seems kind of healthy, like sort of diffusing the whole situation. And I even start thinking about it as, as like those fads when I, uh, when I was young, like back in the day, um, like streaking, you know, and um, uh, skinny dipping at rock concerts and mooning. And I say, you know, those were all about flaunting your privates, right? So like, what's the difference? You know, what's the difference between that and sending a picture of your penis on the internet? <laughs> and then I think, no. Uh, those things were all these like group romps, right? They were all just fun. And this is very, very different. And I think, you know, this was personal. This penis was meant for her. <laughs> and, I, and I think, my God, it is not all right to send a picture of your erect penis to my 13-year-old on the internet. I can't believe how long it's taken me to get furious about this and very, very concerned. And I, I hate myself. I can't believe I, I didn't say to M while I had him on the phone, don't you ever send a picture of your penis to my daughter again. I will put you in jail. I will send you to juvie. <laughs> but by now we are, um, we're on vacation. The summer's come and my 13 year old older and I go, go, go to the country and have for a little holiday and, uh, and I see her at the kitchen table and she's eating a bowl of cereal. And I sit down next to her and I say, honey, did it shock you when you saw that boy's penis on the email? And she said, she says, uh, yes. Just the way she says like, duh, or of course. And I think, you know, she, of course she was shocked. I think I have to make it up right now to her for, for being such a terrible mother. And I say, honey, what he did was an assault, and it's wrong. And bye-bye, she says, and she goes right out the kitchen door. <laughs> she hates talks, right? I kind of don't blame her. <coughs> and then, like, two days later, I, uh, I see her up out at the, the far corner of the yard, and she's swinging on a on this wooden swing set we've had for a long time. And I, and I remember that my, my other daughter, Hallie, she used to do the same thing when she was a teenager. She would just go out there and swing and swing and kind of rock herself into a kind of reverie, right? And now, um, all these years later, my 13-year-old, she does the same thing. She goes out there and just swings and swings, and the, uh, the old wooden swing set makes these creaking noises like a sailboat's mast in the sea. And I watch her, and I, I think, has she put Em's penis out of her mind? Will she ever? <laughs> She's not telling. She just keeps swinging back and forth, back and forth. Thank you. Jenny Allen. <laughs>